Okay, let's get started, guys. Today's topic, we continue with Jones method to analyze trusses. Um, so we're going to talk about the special joints. You know, as you could see last class, to solve a problem of by the joints method, it takes a lot of work because you have to go joint by joint, right? Making calculations for every joint. If I give you a truss like this, can you imagine how many joints you have to analyze? One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen joints. That's a lot of time. So these special joints, I'm gonna talk about this so you can identify some joints that are very easy to analyze without doing all the calculations. First special joint, this kind of joint. This kind of joint means a joint that has four forces and the forces are aligned in pairs. Like, let me do a little diagram here. If you do a little diagram of this joint A, then you will have one force here, one force here, another force here. Probably this force is also going up, right? Probably. So you have two forces. Four forces. These two are aligned, and these two are aligned. If you want to add all these forces using the polygon method, it would be a polygon like this. Let me try to draw it here. So you will have, uh, ah, let's put names here. This will be A, B. This will be force F. This will be A, B. And this will be A, C, right? So a polygon of a polygon of forces will be something like this. For example, A B. Then how about F going down? And then A D. A D. And then A C. And look, this this polygon has to be closed because the resultant of adding all those forces is the force that goes from the tail of the first one, this one, to the head of the last one, this one. So this goes run, 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 and end up here. So the resultant is zero, right? So the summation of all these forces is zero, means this joint is in equilibrium, what you need in this class for, for every case. So if this is a Close polygon and this force is in the same line of this one as it's shown here. So it means that this force is parallel to this force, the same line. Right? This is parallel to this, and this is this is parallel to this because it's the same direction, right? So this is a parallelogram. And you know that in a parallelogram, this the opposite sides are the same magnitude. So this is equal to this and this is equal to this. So when you have a case like that, you can say without without any equations, without any summation of nothing, you can say A B equal A B and in this case A C equals F. Is that clear? Right? Is that clear? Clear? No? 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 Nobody says anything. Is it, is it clear? So when you have this kind of situation, this force is equal to this force, and this force is equal to this force. All right? Um, let me show you an example. So like the force is in the same line of action are equivalent? What? The forces like in the same line of action are equivalent? Right. This, these forces that are in this line, this is equal to this one. It's, it's like this size of the parallel. Yeah. And in a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. And these two are in the same line of action, right? These two. So that means these are this. And those are opposite sides on this parallelogram. So this force equal to this force, this force equal to this force. Let me show you an example like that. Here, this joint is a case like that. You see it? You have one force, one force. And the forces on this support are one, horizon, one horizontal and one vertical here. So you have this force equal to this force, 
and this force equal to this force. You see it? So you don't have to analyze. This joint is very easy to analyze. You, you don't even have to do the uh, free body diagram, nothing. You say a special joint, tan equals to tan, tan equals to tan, and keep going. Because in the joint method, you have to work quickly. Second special joint. This is uh, bridge, bridge move. Yes. Okay. And this is. This is. Evan? 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 Next special joint. This joint, so this joint is a, a joint with four forces called, uh, with two, two pairs, uh, a like collinear force. Forces collinear uh, by pairs. Now, this is a special joint is a, a, a joint that has two collinear forces and another force that is not collinear to those two. So what will be the free body diagram of that? So this would be joint A here. Let me get rid of this guy here. That's the free body diagram of joint A. So I will have a force going like this, a force going like this, and a force going like this. So this would be AB, this will be AD, and this will be AC. So, in, in, in a, a joint like this, without any analysis, you can say that this is zero. This force is zero. And if this force is zero, this case reduces to this one where you just have two forces. They have to be equal to have equilibrium, right? This AC is equal to zero. And this equal to this. You can say easily AD equal to AB. How can you demonstrate that AC is equal to zero? Very easy, very easy. Imagine that you put an X axis here and a Y axis here. And, and, and let's, let's say this is any angle. This is any angle. Can be 90 degrees, can be any, any angle different from zero. So you have summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero. So the component in the y direction of this force AC will be AC sine alpha, right? AC sine alpha. And there, there is no more, no, no more forces in the y direction, you see? Only the, 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 the y component of this one and nothing else. So equals to zero. Therefore, AC equals to zero over sine alpha, so AC equal to zero, right? This force equal to zero. And I don't think we need to do so much of forces in the x direction to know that this is equal to this, because this is non-existent, so AB minus AD equal to zero, so AB equal to AD, all right? So every time that you get a joint like this, you just do it quickly, this equal to zero, this equal to that. Very, very easy. Let me show you an example of that. This case, this joint C. You have two, two bars that are collinear, so this force equal to this force, and this one equal to zero. Same thing, same, same thing here, same thing here, all right? Next. Well, this one, this one is just the same case as this one when you already said A is equal to zero, so that you fall into this case and you know that force is equal to that force. For equilibrium, that's kind of obvious. I don't know if we should just say here AB equal to AB by, by, by common sense. And when you have a, a case like that, this is like two forces that are not collinear, but just two forces, only two forces, only two forces, only two forces not aligned. They are both zero, Bo both zero. AB equal to zero, AB equal to zero. Why? 
If you put an axis, let's put an axis here. Ah, let's put the free body diagram right here. The free body diagram will be something like this. Point A. This will be AB. And this will be AB. If you put your, your set of axes here, X and Y, summation of forces summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero will tell you that the only force with component in the y direction is this one, right? Let's say this angle is let's say this angle is alpha. So A B sine alpha plus nothing else, right? Equals to zero. So A B equals to zero over sine alpha. So this is equal to zero. And now if you do a summation of forces in the x direction, you will say it has to be equal to zero. So you can say AB minus AD cosine alpha equals to zero. But AD is already zero, right? You just found out that AD is equal to zero for this. So you know that AB minus zero equal to zero. So a, B equals to zero, right? A, B equal to zero. So both forces are zero, A, D and A, B. It doesn't matter what angle you have here, it doesn't matter. As long as there is no collinearity here, they are not collinear, they are at any angle, they are both zero. And it's only two forces, two forces only. Let me show you examples, example of this. This, these forces are zero. Both of them are zero. These two are zero. Even if it's 90 degrees or whatever angle it is, as long as it's not 180, because if it's 180, you will have, you will have this case, right? right? So in this case, they are not zero. They are just equal, but not zero. And if there is any angle, they are both, both uh, forces zero. Okay? Okay. So, <clears throat> um, here in this, in this, in this uh, example here, let's do here really quickly, identify here some of the forces. That are zero. What forces are zero here really quickly? So review. Okay, these two are zero, right? For the reason I just explained, this is a special joint. This is another special joint. So this is zero. This is zero. This force is zero because these two are collinear and you have another one that is not collinear. So these two have to be equal and this one is zero. Imagine that the, the other way to reason this is that uh, this force is equal to this force, and then if you have a force here, there should be another one here to balance that one, right? But there is no forces here, so this has to be zero because there is no, no one here to balance this force. So this force has to be zero. This force has to be zero, right? So this force has to be zero because we don't have any force here to balance, to balance this force. And when, when you conclude that this is zero, this has to be equal to this one to have equilibrium around point C. You see it? Okay. What else? Can you tell me another? Another? Tell me. Looking at, at, at what joint you can make any conclusion of special conditions? Any other joint? GL. G. Joint G. GL. Tell me just the joint. What joint do you think is a special joint G? Joint L. Joint L. This is a special joint because you have collinear here and one coming here. This one has to be zero because there is no body to balance it here. So this has to be zero. And this equal to this. This equal to this. Any other special joint? N to I. If this is a special joint, N. Special joint N. And you can conclude that this is zero and this is equal to this. Right? You said I is 
is the space that join? Yeah. No. No, because you have one, two, three, four, five, five forces. Our special joints are basically this one, four forces collinear. This one, three forces. This one, two forces. This one, two forces. If you, have, if you see five forces, you can't say nothing. No. Just not, nothing you can say. These are simple cases. If you see more than, more than four, the, this is the only one with a lot of forces. Well, four, but they have to be collinear, right? So, in a case like that, no, too many forces. Too many forces. Exactly. You have B. What? What? Join B. B. This one. Is more than four forces. Well, this one is zero. So you have one, two, three, four forces, but they are not collinear in any way. So you can say nothing about that. You can say like the force from P is equal to the force of like F B plus P H. Is that? Well, that's the summation of forces in the y direction. You will have an equation. When you analyze this, you will say summation of forces in the y direction will be P plus this sine of this angle plus this sine of this angle equal to zero. Mm -hmm. And that's the equation that you set up to find these forces, right? But you cannot say that one is equal to other or anything like that. It depends on these angles and the cosine and the sine. You have to set up the whole set of equations to find this force. Let's see what else. I guess that's it. I, I cannot say anything else. How about this? How about this one? Mm. Tell me a joint and, and what kind of conclusion you can get. B. 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 This one you can say is zero, and this equal to this, right? Any other? Can you do the same at K, or do the joists like K, K, K? No, no, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We, we, may, we, we, may, we may get to that conclusion after we eliminate some others. If we find that this is zero and this is zero, then this could be G point G. Oh, so G? Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 Co correct. We, and we're going to end up with this one, but not right now. Not right. right, not right now. So G, so G tells you that this is zero, and this is equal to this. And then F, and then F. This is also special joint. F tells you that this is zero, and this is equal to this. So now we can talk about this one. And that one will be the same thing, zero. Right, right. Yeah, the diagram of this will be just two forces here and one force here, and you can neglect. Well, this is zero, so you don't even need to draw it, right? So now we can say this is zero because of uh, all this stuff is zero, and this bar is equal to this bar. And then same thing on the other side? Same, same thing on this side. This is zero. This is zero because of this joint. This is zero, and this is equal to this. This is zero, this is zero, this is equal to this, and this is equal to this, and I guess that's, ah, well, now we can say this is zero, right? Yeah. This is zero, and this is equal to this, and this is equal to this. So look, in this, in this truss, you just basically calculate the supports, right? You find the supports using a free body diagram of the whole structure, and you have Ly, Lx, and you find here uh, Hy. So when you find this, this value, you can analyze this joint H to find these two forces, right? Once you have these two forces, you have this one and this one too. You have all these forces just by analyzing this joint. Then you can come to this joint. You already know this, so this is zero. So you need to find these two by analyzing this. Once you have these two, you already have this, this, and this. So you have already all this just by analyzing this, and this you have half to the trust gone. And then do the same here, and with, with this joint, and maybe this joint, you, with four joints, you can find everything. Mm -hmm. uh, again, uh, we, we made uh, those conclusions because the uh, uh, joint is collinear, it's 180. Joint, uh, joint what? A? Where you say, uh, no, I'm like, yeah, we'll say um, joint D. 
right? Join B. So I know that on left and right there it's collinear. This but is that collinear. Be perpendicular to that. Um, join into it. Yes. It's a requirement. This is zero and this is equal to this. It has to be perpendicular. No, 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 no. No, any angle. Okay. Any angle. You are right late. No, yes. no don't worry, don't worry. Yes, well, we know. Uh, here it is. Look. Any angle. Any angle. Okay. For, forget the time. I just want it to. <laughs> Any angle. I put here the alpha even less than 90. So if it's 90, of course. If it's other than 90, two. Same thing. No problem. Because no, because this equal to this, and nobody can oppose to this one over here. There is no, no nobody to oppose to balance the vertical or the, the the component in the y direction of this force. That's the like the analysis that you do there. But you don't need to do the everybody diagram. If you if you understand those concepts, you just say this is a special joint. This is zero, and this is equal to this. And you just write it down and keep going. All right. Oh, let's continue. Oh, we finish. How about this one? Any joint? Any special joint? K. K. Zero, this equal to this. Any other? Oh, 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 oh. Zero, this equal to this. I. 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 Well, no, nothing to say. I just, there must be something else, no? Why is there this dance? Make this Oh my goodness, that's it. Do you want G? Mm, no, because you have well, you have this collinear, but you have two forces here, so you can. It's not the case of. It's, it's not this case. Mm -hmm. Oops, oof. It's not this case because you have two forces. If you have two, one can balance the other. Only if it's one alone, there is nobody to balance this one, you know that it's zero. But in that case, it's, it's, it's two forces, not, not, not one. But it looks like no more case, no more forces. No more forces. Yeah, no more. I thought it was more. What about uh, A and E? Nothing to see. What, what kind of special gear would be that one? This one? Or this one? Uh, mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't see collinear forces. I don't see four forces. Uh -huh. No, I don't see anything here. I don't know if I am missing something, but no. No more, no more special. No more special. Okay. Okay, let's do an example. Just a regular example, just to, to finish. Um, and, and not so not so long because uh, we won't finish. Let's let's do this example. Let's do this example here. Uh, okay. Remember what we say. You can start by calculating the the reactions, but if you can find a joint that has only two announce you can start in that joint. So if they only ask you for the forces in the bars and you don't need to calculate the reactions, but you just start whatever you can. Or you can calculate the reactions in order to do like a check at the end. I don't know if we'll have time to to finish the whole thing. Let's, let's, let's calculate the reactions in this example. You have to do it complete with reactions and everything and, and show you how you can check your work by knowing the, the, the value of the reaction. So, so the first step will be, in this case, we're going to calculate reactions. So let's do it. Um, let's do a free body diagram. You, you put a label here, reactions. 
So we're going to calculate reactions. So let's make a free body diagram of the of the whole truss. Well, when you are doing the free body diagram of the whole truss, you, you don't you don't need to draw these bars inside because it's just a, a, the whole the whole structure. So you just have to draw the external forces. This one, this one, and the supports. The supports. Let's call them. Um, let's finish with all the force. Of this one right here. Uh, this will be E. Let's call it E X. E Y. Let's call this one F Y. Um, these dimensions are three, and this is. 2.5, 2 2.5, oh no, 2.25, sorry, 2.25, 2.25, 2.25, uh, these values, we know the values, 900, 900, that's the free body diagram of the whole structure, you remove everything, in this case you just remove supports, and we are to calculate the reactions on those supports. What would you do to find those reactions? What, you want to start by any particular one? You have three equations, right? The moment about point E. That's a good choice. Summation of moments about point E. Why? Because we eliminate these two announced and you just solve for this in one equation. That's a good choice. So summation of moments about point E has to be equal to zero. I'm going to choose positive counterclockwise, so my announce is positive, so I will have. I'm going to go a little bit faster with this because you are experts on this already, right? You already did the homework on free, on, on, on equilibrium of uh, bodies, right? So, Fy times 3 minus 900 times the top 900 times 4.5, right? 2.25 times 2. 4.5 minus 900 for the other force apply here, 900 times this distance. 2.25. Any other force that we have here? No more forces because these two forces are are zero because they are they pass through the point. This is point E. This is point F. So this summation you close it by putting here equals to zero over there. So from here you solve for the y. So Fy is equal to one third of um, 900 times 4.5 cos positive to the other side, right? This is 450, and this is half of that, 2025. So this is equal to. Where's 2025? I get positive 2025. Somebody want to check that. If you see that value positive, what does that mean? Is it going to your assumption? My assumption that this force is going up is correct. So I can put a, a little arrow here indicating that the reaction is, is going up because uh, you got positive. This is kind of like an, a, 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 a result already. Maybe I can put it here like Fy, Fy equals 20, 25 newtons going up. I'm, I'm not going to I'm, I'm going to do just a little underlining in red to show that this is an answer. Now what would you do for the other two? Sum of forces 
sum of forces in the y and sum of forces in the x equal to zero. I'm going to do positive going up because my ay is going up. So I will have here um, ey plus fy, but, but fy is 20, 25, right? We just got it. No more forces in the y direction, so equals to zero. Therefore, EY equals minus 20, 25. So you found that this force is, it was assumed in the wrong direction because you done negative. So that force is going down. So in your answer, you will do something like this. EY equals 20, 25 newtons going down. Room. And then summation of forces in the x direction. Summation of forces in the x direction equals to zero. I'm going to do positive to the right because I have ex to the right plus 900 plus 900 equals to zero. So therefore. EX equals to minus 1800. So it means that I, I, I assume it wrong. This is going to the left. Okay, so let's start doing joints. I guess the easiest joint is to, um, joint D, right? But the easiest joint has only two. two. But it's a special joint, right? We don't need to do anything. You can do something like this. Just say uh, join. B, special, therefore, AB equals zero, and BD equals zero. I will, I will put that in here. AB equals zero, BD equals zero. Uh, what is now? Where can we continue? We can continue in many places, but I'm going to go like in an order going to the A. Can I do A? Yes. I have only two announced, right? I announce are this and this. I already know this, this force I know, and with this is zero, so we have these two forces to calculate. So we have two forces, two equations. So you go joint A. Don't forget the, 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 the label of the free body diagram, and then you put the join, and then you put the forces. You know this force is 900, and then you have two forces, one going like this, and one going like this. Remember, you put them in tension all, always. So both, both announce, you put it going away from the joint, like pulling the joint in tension. That's the positive side. And you put the labels. Let's call it AD. And let's call it AC. Uh, and maybe something that you, we should do to get all the, the... This will be for all the angles. We need the angles. We, maybe we, we will find this distance AD. We can work with 3 to 25. And this diagonal to do all the sides and cosines. So let's calculate the distance from, from, from A to D. Let's do it here on this corner. A, D equals the square, is this distance from A to D, the square root of uh, three square plus 225 square. And that gives you a 3.75. So that's a number that it doesn't have so many digits, so it's kind of easy to, to organize these calculations. So now we can work this triangle for all these, for all these um, angles. You have 3 here, 225 here, and 375 here, right? That angle will be useful for all those angles there. Like in this one right here. What would you do first? Summation of forces in the X or in the Y for this one? Y. Hmm? X. X, right? X. Because if you do X, 
This one doesn't have component the x, so it will be just this. If you do y, this one has component in the y direction, and this one also has component in the y direction, so you have one equation with two unknowns that you cannot solve directly. Remember I'm very lazy? Remember? If you are not lazy, just do simultaneous equations, they don't care. But you need the time, when you do the exam, you need the time. So you do here summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero. I'm gonna do positive to the right because my AD goes to the right. So AD, cosine of that angle. What is the cosine of this angle here? Three over three point seven five. Three over three point seventy five. Uh, plus nine hundred equals to zero, right? So from here we can calculate AD as minus nine hundred times three seventy five over three. Nine hundred Minus 900 is it gives me minus 1125. Minus 1125. As soon as you see the minus, what do you do? Switch the sign. No. <laughs> no, I mean, like, flip the arrow. No. As soon as you put the sign, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? As soon as you see the sign, what do you do? Switch the direction. No. No. You don't need to look at the direction, nothing. As soon as you see the minus sign, okay. A million dollar question. Nobody? As soon as you see the sign, you write here C in parentheses. Oh. As soon as you see the sign, you combine. And then you can do whatever you want, I don't care. Oh, because it's compression. It's compression. Because you assume everything in tension. So as soon as you minus, as soon as you see minus, you do compression. Right? What? 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 What is the joke? No, there was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted a joke. What? I just wanted to know why we're putting C and he said it was for compression. So. Oh, great. Yeah. 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 And that's what I want going to grade in the exam. When you write here your answer, you put A D equals you don't you don't put the sign here, you pass you put eleven twenty-five newtons compression. And that's your answer for that part. So I give you I give you um, fifty points for the number and fifty points for the C. Yeah. And, and the exam will be like 10 million points. No, like 10,000. Okay, understood? Now, we can continue. We don't need, we don't need to uh, slow down anymore. If, if summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero, I'm going to do positive going down, I underline put colon, and then I have AC going down, positive, plus, I put plus going down, so this is plus, right? This is positive. And this is positive too, but I got it negative, so this is actually going up. So that's negative. So you can do you can do plus because it's going down, but minus because I just found that it's minus. See the trick right there? Or you can do what what uh, uh, um what, uh, what uh, Avian was saying. You can go here and correct this, but you don't need to do that. Yeah, you fine. can correct this, right? But you go so quickly that you say, oh, 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 I just found this is negative here. Or you can say, oh, this one from so this is going to have make a little correction here, and this is actually going like that. Be, be careful not to erase it. And then you know that this is really going up, so you go, this is going down plus. And this is actually going up, so minus. Anyway, you're going to get a minus, right? Anyway, you're going to get a minus. Minus AD, and AD is already 11.25, uh, multiplied by sine of that angle, which is 2.25 over 3.75 equals to zero. 
Therefore, AC equals, ah, uh, that goes positive, right? 675. So as soon as you see that this is positive, what do you do? What do you do as soon as you see the positive? Right, right thing, right? <laughs> yeah, you learn quickly. Because I just told you, I told you this last class. Um, so then you can write your answer here. AC equals 675 newtons tension. And let's put a little red line here so you know this is an answer. What next? What joint do you want to calculate now? Another thing that I usually do is, as soon as I find values, I put it on the on the truss, or I make another truss uh, in, in the, in, the, at the uh, in some other place. But let's do it right here. We already found that uh, AB is zero, ABD is zero. We found AD eleven twenty five compression. I put compression in red. AD eleven twenty five, eleven twenty five. I put the I put the sign here. Here I put the sign to show that this is compression. I try to put the sign that the parenthesis is compression. Oh, you can put a C, but a minus over there is, is okay to, to show that's compression. And we found AC 675. AC 675. So I have everything like in the summary of results. So and you can see easily, looking at this, that you cannot do this one because you have three announced. But you can do this one because you have two and now it's only, so join D will be the next choice. Join D. So the free body diagram of join D will be a dot, a dot. And you have a compression force coming down of 1125. Let's put it in red. It's pushing the join, right? 1125. Can you see it? Pushing the joint. Ah, let's put the label here D. This is joint D. And then, what else you have on joint D? Zero, I don't put the zero force. This zero force, I don't put it here, so I don't clutter my uh, diagram with in unnecessary stuff. So I have. Is hmm? another special joint? Let me see. Oh, is a special joint? No, it's a cross one. Yeah, no. You want a special joint, right? You want one. I do. I, I, I wish I had more special joints because then you can move quicker. You have to announce CD and uh, DF. And no more angles there. So what would you do here first, uh, X or Y? Y. Uh, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, you have to do. It doesn't matter. There is, the, the, this one has only X, and this one has only Y, so either equation is just one and noun. Let's do X and Y. X equal to zero, I'm gonna do positive to the left, because my unknown goes to the left, so I have CD minus 125 cosine of the angle, which is 3 over 375. And that's it, equals to zero. So I can find here really easily CD equals <coughs> to that operation plus CD 125. Where is the joint? Where then join D? 1125. Oh, oh, I made a mistake. Oh, no, no, I didn't make a mistake. Uh, where am I? Join D, join D. C minus 11, minus 11 equals to zero, the four CD equals 900. If somebody did that operation, just to check, that would be 900 positive. So as soon as you see that it's positive, you put tension. So you have another value here, CD equals 900 newtons. Intention, and you underline in red to show that that's another result. And let's put the value on our diagram. 900 is CD intention. 
CD 900. CD 900 intention. Mm. CD 900 intention. Just put it here. 900. I just put it here. 900. This value that we just found. And now summation of forces in the y direction. Summation of forces. In the y direction equals to zero. I'm gonna do positive going down. You know what I'm doing? Positive going down sometimes and down the other, right? You know what I do that, right? You don't have to do it like that, but my my unknown is positive, so I don't mess with a negative here that I have kind of like easier easier algebra if you want. So here I have DF. Minus or plus? Oh, plus, yeah. Plus what? Uh, 1125 times. Oh. 1125 times. 2.25 over 375. Yeah. And nothing else, so equals to zero. Therefore, DF equals to, this goes negative, right? Negative, 1125, 1125, 225, 375, that minus 675, 675. Oh, negative compression. Automatically, before doing, before you go to the kitchen to grab some snack, you put C, the F, equals 675 Newton's compression, underlined red. And let's put that value on the on the summary. The F675 compression. The F. What is the F? Where is no the F? The F? Where what am I? Oh, the F is going down. Uh 675. Minus 675. Okay. And we did already C D. Okay, that was joint D. Okay, what will be the following? The next the next joint to do? If we do this, we can find these two, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let, let, let's do that. We, we could do this one because we have this. We have this value already from uh, from here. We have F Y. We have it. So we could do this one also. But let's let's just go like that. Uh, what what did you say we want to do? C, right? So we do A B A B C and then F E. Not C. On the test, can you give us a lot of like, trusses? I, I, many trusses and uh, like 12 points per truss. <laughs> I have to give you tiny problems because there is no time. It's a long time. <laughs> yes. And you have to use a special joints to speed up. Okay, let's continue here. Join. Join. We're going to do join C, right? Join C. <clears throat> this is C. It has a 900 force going here, coming in. You have a force. Uh, uh, this this force seven six seven five tension. So I, I that goes up, right? Everybody see that that goes up here like this. Six seventy five. Uh, let's, let's, let's bring that down here because uh, I don't see that you guys don't see it. Let's bring all that. Oh, I don't think it's going to let me move it. Let's see. Oh, copy. All right, let's see what happens. Copy. Paste. Oh, yeah. Great. Um, Okay, so we are going join C. Join C, 900 coming in from the left, so 675 going up, 900, 900 going to the, to the right, to the right, sounds kind of strange, but I guess, right? 900, we, we just found 900 here, 
we find 900 here over there, right tension. So it's tension, so it pulls joint C to the right because it's tension. It sounds kind of weird, right? This force pushing here and this one also. But we got that, unless we made a mistake, but I hope not. <coughs> Any other force? Okay, another, uh, this is joint C, joint C. Let me move this a little bit down here, it's kind of like this. And then another force going down, CE, that is an announce, so it's going to be in tension, CE. And another force going diagonal like that, uh, CF. And that's all the forces. And I will start by summation of forces in the, what direction? No. Right? Well, yeah, well if you want to work, yes. <laughs> You're, my, you're, you're welcome, you're, wel you're welcome. In the X, right? In the X. Equal to zero positive to the right. And then will be CF times 3 over 375, right? Plus 900. Plus 900. Plus anything else? Nothing else, right? Equals to zero. Therefore, CF equals to that operation gives you, well, minus 1800 times 375 over 3, which is minus 2250. Minus 2250. So that's compression. So let's put it here. CF equals minus 2250 newtons compression. Next, summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero positive going down. So we have CE, CE going down. Minus 675 going up. What else? Um, plus CF. CF, right? <coughs> CF plus CF. But CF, we just found it to be negative, so let's put it minus 2250, right? Multiply by something, right? A um, sign. Sine, which is 225 over 375, I guess. And nothing else, right? Three forces in the y direction, yes, equal to zero. Therefore, uh, CE equals, um, well, all that operation gives you, let's put it here. CE equals 675 positive and minus to the other side goes positive 1350 equals 2025 and this case is positive. So as soon as you see the positive, you write tension and you put it here in your <coughs> table here to the right, C E equals 2025 newtons tension underline red. <coughs> okay, let's put those values on our, on our summary. 2250 <coughs> F, 22 C F, 2250 negative minus 2250 minus 2250 and we just found 2025 for CE 2025 for CE tension 2025 so we were doing joint C so we just found this compression and this tension this tension and the compression we just need to find this bar to finish all the bars by analyzing this. Let, let's, let's finish this one. Right? 
This is a special joint. We have two forces here. So this equal to this, this equal to this. Let, let's, let's, let me put the diagram just to, so you see it more clearly. If you do join, join in, and this is special. I'm gonna do the diagram just to. So I have 225 in, in tension, 2025. I have here reaction, uh, I mean E, 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 X, and here E, Y. Uh, actually, uh, when I have I have this force, I don't know what it is. So this is this is uh, oh no. We 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 if we don't look at the reactions, we can also this because there's one, two, one, three, and now right. But but we calculate the reactions up there. We have the reactions here, right? So those values are known. X is. It's to the left, the 1800. Yeah, let's put those values the way they are. Does that mean we didn't have to solve for CE then? CE? Yeah. No, no, we do have to solve for CE. Uh, we could have found that from this because we have already these forces, right? Yeah. That, that's going to be like a check what we are doing here. We are checking. Let, let's put this value the way it is. This value is actually to the left. And what, how much did I say? 1800? 1800, this, EX 1800 to the left. 1800 to the left. And EY 2025 going down. 2025 going down. Twenty twenty five going down. Look, what we see here is that we, we this is a good check, right? We found this from joint C and we found this from the initial calculation of the reactions. The way that this matches means that we did a good job and, and it looks like everything is it's like a check. You are checking that this is correct. And from this we can find that this force is tension eleven hundred. So from this special, this is EF, EF, so EF equals 1800 tension. So that will be here, EF equals 1800 newtons tension. And this is a nice check. You, you, you could write something like this. Summation of forces in the y direction equals to question mark. Positive going uh, up or down or whatever. So 2025 minus 2025 equals to zero. So check. Right? It checks. This, this summation gives you zero. If you don't get this equation to to be zero, you are in trouble. You made a mistake, right? Because everything has to be in equilibrium. So this we already know that is 1800 in tension. It's, it's tension two is going to the left. Well, this is going to the left, right? And then this is a special joint because you have two forces collinear and two forces collinear. So, and then in that case, you know that this force is equal to this and this force is equal to this. And, and those have to be the directions. If this is going to the left, this has to go to the right. If this is going up, this has to be down, right? You see the equilibrium of this yeah. set of forces. So, you know that this force is to the right. If this force is to the right, is tension or compression? Tension because it's pulling the joint. Alright? We can use this this joint to verify. Do another check because this is completely solved and we have the solution. Just let's say like another check. Another check. Another check. Joint F. 
so that you will have a compression here of 675, a compression here of 2250, another tension here of 1800, and we have this force EY. What is EY? Anybody remembers? EY 2025 going, no, F, sorry, FY 2025 going up. <coughs> 2025 going up. So let's check, let's check. Summation of forces in the x direction has to be equal to something, <coughs> has to be zero, but I, I'm gonna check, so I'm gonna put question mark. I still don't know if that checks to be zero. Uh, let's do a positive going up, so I have 2025 minus 675 minus 2250 times 3, no, 225 over 375 equals to what? Cross your fingers, cross your fingers, cross your fingers. Huh? <gasps> Ta-da! Then you very proudly you put here equals to zero, check. This zero can be larger, so you can put the, the happy face right here. And summation of forces in the y direction? Summation of forces in the y direction equals to what? We don't know, let's put, no, in the, oh, <laughs> I put positive going up in the x. You will do positive to the right in the x. That's what I did, right? No, no, that was summation of forces in the y direction. Positive going up, this is y. And this is x now, <coughs> x, positive to the right. So that will be 20, 2250 times 3 over 375 minus 1100 equals to what? You cross your fingers. Right. All right. Ta -da. Then you put a nice purple zero. All right. I guess that's it for today. I'll, I'll put that on canvas.